In this video, I will show you the best and worst designer bags trend in 2024. What is the most popular designer bags in 2024? What designer bags are in or out this season? I will also give you my personal opinion, which one to buy and which one to avoid. Let's open this video with the worst designer bags you can buy in 2024. And the first one I want to show you is the Dior Large Tut Book. This bag is a large rectangular tut bag, not made with leather because this bag is made with toile de jour, we say in French. So this is an embroidery canvas. The canvas comes in different colors, of course, but also with logo or non-logo. I do prefer the non-logo version. I found it more refined, more sophisticated, and more elegant. And originally, this bag was a beach bag. So this is the perfect beach bag. But I don't know why so many women decided to wear it as a city tote bag. I think this bag is very trendy because it's a super practical tote bag. Okay, this is a beach bag. So originally, you can put a lot of different stuff inside. Another thing that makes this bag also trendy is also the price. Still very expensive, don't get me wrong, but more accessible and less expensive than a Chanel bag, for example. To me, this is the worst designer bags you can buy in 2024. First, this bag is so overrated, okay? This is so overdone because everyone is wearing this bag actually, even in, in Paris. Another thing also you should know, it is the fact that when a bag became extremely popular, there are a lot of fake out there. So probably also a lot of fake, a lot of fake Dior tote book. Another thing also is about the price. I'm pretty sure you're gonna regret to buy this bag. Think about it, 3,000 for a large tote bag made in canvas, in cotton canvas, it's not even leather. So 3,000 for cotton, it's not even leather. Another worst designer bags trend in 2024 is also from Gucci. This is a horse bit chain leather bag. But worse than the marmot bag, the horse bit chain leather shoulder medium. Oh my god, I hate this bag. I don't like it. I find it super, super cheap. Not elegant at all. This is a new and relaunched version of a popular Gucci bag in the 2000s. Gucci takes a contemporary and more modern approach of this baguette bag with the big horsebit silver chain, the quilted leather and the baguette also design. You have to think about it, it's not timeless. This bag has not a timeless design. It's very unique, very original. So you might love the baguette design like that, okay, today. But think about two or three years later. At that price, I'm talking about an investment designer bag. So I'm pretty sure that maybe in a few years, you're gonna resell this bag because you will be tired of this super original and unique design. But before coming to the video, I want to share with you part of my beauty routine. You do know that I air takes supplements and I finally found a high quality multivitamin brand I can trust. This is Ritual. I choose from Ritual, the best multivitamin brand you can find on the market, two different products. And the first one is the Essential for Women. It is a clean, high quality multivitamin for women from 18 to 49 to help fill key nutrient gaps in the diet. What I love about this brand and especially the Essential for Women is the quality of ingredients. This is a clean formula with high quality key nutrients in bio available form, vegan friendly, gluten and major allergen free, and also non-GMO. Another thing I love about the products in the brand is also the capsule design. These are delayed release capsules that dissolve later in the body. Part of my beauty routine, I woke up and I take my Ritual Multivitamin Daily Essential. I just take only two capsules when I woke up. And I love this product. It has been now a few weeks since I take this multivitamin. I really feel more energetic. And other products I also love for the brand and now part of my night beauty routine. This is the melatonin capsule. I found out that some melatonin gummies may be mislabeled. So I switched to Ritual Sleep Bio Series Melatonin, which is very traceable. So I can actually trust what's going into my body. 
Ritual Sleep is a melatonin supplement with breakthrough bio series technology that releases melatonin through the night to support a natural sleep wake cycle. If you are interested by this super efficient product, the brand offers 25% off of your first order. Check below the video because you're gonna find all the link where you can buy this beautiful product. Another worst designer bag in 2024 is the Prada Redition 2005. This bag is extremely trendy. If you open Instagram, TikTok, this bag is everywhere. This is a cheap version, I will say, of the baguette bag. I don't like this one. I think this is the worst designer bag you can buy. This bag is a more modern, contemporary version of the classic obo model of the house between the obo and the baguette. And of course, this version is not made with leather. This is a nylon bag, so not even leather or cotton. To be honest with you, I don't understand the hype about this bag. I think this is so overdone and overrated. And this is still very expensive for a bag that is not made with leather. Very trendy, but I'm not sure if this bag will be trendy in the next two years. The only thing also about these trendy small bags, you have to know it, you won't be able to put a lot of things inside. So it's not a practical everyday bag. So totally a waste of money. And the next also worst designer bag trend you can buy in 2024 is the Fendi baguette. Another very popular designer bag you will regret to buy for sure. This is the Fendi baguette made with tissue jacquard, a brown jacquard canvas with monogram, the Fendi monogram all over. There's also the Fendi clasp and a trimmed with black embroidery. Two things that make this designer bag the worst designer bags you can buy. The first thing is about, of course, the tissue jacquard with the monogram. As you can expect from me, I don't like monogram logo bag. I find it very cheap. It screams Look at me, I'm wearing a brand, I'm wearing a logo. So this is very, very cheap. It's not looking expensive. It's not looking sophisticated and elegant. Another thing also, tissue jacquard with monogram is overdone. Overdone in 2024, guess what? Because all the big luxury brands are doing it. Dior, of course, Balenciaga, Gucci, Prada. They all doing this monogram tissue, so overdone and not looking expensive. And the last worst designer bags you can buy in 2024 is of course the Jacquemus Bambino bag. Jacquemus is very, I would say very popular. There's a lot of hype behind Jacquemus. Since the brand has been acquired by LVMH, the brand has really downgraded in terms of quality. When Jacquemus started, it was very niche with a lot of, I would say, artisanal behind the brand. And since the brand became more and more mainstream, more luxury, I would say, streetwear, the brand also became more affordable, less expensive and less high quality. So Jacquemus to me is not a luxury brand. They have luxury price for sure, but not luxury because they don't have the same quality has luxury and over luxury brand, for example, as Hermes or Chanel, definitely. Another thing also about the Bambino baguette is the fact that this is a very small bag and you should think twice before buying this bag. It's small. And every time I check online the review about this bag, the women are saying we cannot put a lot of things inside. So it's not a super practical everyday designer bags. And now coming to the best designer bags you can buy in 2024. And I choose this bag because I think they have the best everyday designer bags you can rely on. The first one is a very trendy, expensive designer bags, but I'm still thinking this is a good investment. This is the Ro Margot. I will not buy this bag personally. I will not put 5,000 into this bag, but I still love the design. And when I check also online on Pinterest, I also love how women are wearing this bag. I love the design and I also love the timelessness of the bag. The first thing I love about this bag is the no logo. This is a very simple minimalist bag, no logo, no adornment, no garment. 
I love also the clean minimalist line of this one. So beautiful bag. This bag reminds me of some of the vintage Hermes model actually. You know this big, big travel bag size actually. This is very inspired by Hermes, I found out. And I also love the size, so still a big bag. I don't think you will love this one if you don't like big oversized bag, but big oversized bag are very trendy this year, actually. And also the fact that you cannot wear this bag crossbody, so this is probably the minus of this bag, but still very, very nice. I love the, the quite luxury inspired vibe of this bag. Timeless, it also works with a lot of different outfits. One of the best designer bags to buy in 2024 is the Tory Burch Lee Radzeville. This bag is similar to the Picaboo Fendi and also inspired by the Lady Bag by Hermes. This bag is composed of layers that unfold like the collar of a trench coat. It can be worn open, semi buttoned or fully closed. I love this bag and I still find this bag is very close to the Kelly by Hermes. If you love this lady bag, you know, lady bag design, you would probably love this one. What I love also about this bag is the size. I find it very nice. It's not too big, not too small. So very roomy and practical every day. Another thing also is the timelessness of this one. Actually, there's something unique and original. This is the fold design. And at the same time, it's not too much. It's very, I will say, classy and elegant. And the last thing also is the price. So this bag retails around 998. So less than 1000 for a designer bag. It's expensive, of course, but it's still affordable compared to Chanel or Hermes. The next best designer bags to buy in 2024, and I'm going to buy this one. It's on my wish list this year. This is the Loewe basket bag. Another very popular bag in Paris. You will see a lot of Parisian women wearing these designer bags. The Loewe basket bag is inspired by the iconic basket bag, but this is a more modern, refined and sophisticated version of a traditional basket bag. The size and the design is more luxury than the regular basket bag. So still the size is more, I will say, more elegant than the big basket bag. I love, love, love this bag and I'm really thinking to buy this one in 2024, so this year. I think this is the perfect best summer designer bag. And the next best designer bags to buy in 2024 is the Bodega Veneta Andiamo. The Andiamo is an handle bag crafted in supple intrecciato napal leather with sliding crossbody strap. I love, love this bag, especially the medium size in light green called Travertine. So what I love about this bag is definitely the design. So really quite luxury. If you love quite luxury, you're gonna love this bag. I love also, you know, this unique signature leather design. And you know that Bodega Veneta are really top-notch quality. So top-notch quality bag. I love the, the timelessness also of this design. Probably a bag you will wear season after season, years after years. I also love this little bow, you know, little bow detail on, in the front of the bag. And the last best designer bags to buy in 2024 is the Demelier tote bag. I have to admit that I don't know a lot about Demelier, aside of the fact that this brand is very, very trendy on social media. To be honest with you, I fall in love with the tote version. I'm not a fan of the crossbody version. I do prefer the tote version. And I find it very elegant, very chic. So still it is a very trendy designer bag on social media, but I think I love the timelessness of this tote bag. I also love the fold design, which reminds me of the Celine, you know, the Celine Phantom. But I love the design. I love the modern contemporary approach. And at the same time, it's very timeless. I love something that is timeless and actually modern. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video about the best and worst designer bags in 2024. Let me know what you think in the comments. Trends are everywhere on YouTube, but I wanted to have a peek on the designer bags that are trendy this year. I really love, you know, to see which bags, which designer bags are trendy and which one are out. 
So let me know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to check my other videos. And I'll see you very soon for another one.